uh, attorney law, anong klaseng shield yung ino-offer ng pharma lead no, uh, noon? And could we see a sample? Um, they offered face masks. They did not offer face, face shield, I think. All right. So, nung buong it's panahon... Blue cross, it's, face it's Blue Cross that offered the face shield. Oh, Madam it's, Chairman. It's, I'm Mr. Chairman. Okay. So, Blue Cross ang uh, face shields uh, at that time. So, face masks. Anong klaseng face masks yung ino-offer ng Pharmaly noon? And could you... Medical face mask. It's the, the face mask is standard. We have the medical face mask or the N88. The, the, the technical, technical specification is N88. N88. By any chance, merong ba kayong sample dyan na pwede nyong ipakita sa amin? No, I'm at home. So, at home. Uh, okay. I, I, have, I have my own face mask. But that's not the one that was being offered by Pharmaly then. So okay. uh, it's the similar, similar technical specifications. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a um, the blue one, the white mm -hmm. side, and the middle one, which is I'm going to think, the middle one is the the most expensive one, which makes it medical grade. We call this the uh, melt blown, melt blown um, portion. I just cut it. So, N88. N88 din yes. yung mask ng attorney law. Yes, kasi marami kasing binibenta ng mask ngayon sa 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 market. May mm -hmm. 5-ply, 8-ply, but technically those are not medical medical grade. What makes it medical grade is not the number of plies when it comes to N88. What mm -hmm. makes it medical grade, ang magaling nito si EMS, is the one who explained it to me. Um, this one, this the middle one is the what makes it medical grade. This is a non-soon but melt blown um, fabric which has a tawag natin yung butas niya is mas maliit sa size ng mga microbes not microbes bacteria and viruses so mm -hmm. hindi sila makakapasok only the air so yun mm -hmm. yung medical that, so, that's it ang nagturo sa inyo tungkol diyan sa N88 ang EMS sabi niyo magaling sila DOH. sana sila lang yung ilawarkan nila no at eh, ninyo sana pina pinayagan niyo silang maka-deliver ng buong uh, contracted supply at and at yes, the they were able to deliver in full they were able, able Opo, to deliver in full 25% lang niyo sila binayaran at contract price kasi yeah, di ba no, it's, it's total contract price po. it's the same because there's a clause there which allows us to, to to for the protection of the government and for the protection of the supplier when the Diba, nagre-reklamo kayo dun sa, uy, may SRP, dapat hindi lalagpas. Pag bumaba yung SRP, even the price of EMS has to drop. In order to protect the interest of the government, it will remain to the advantage of the government. It will also protect EMS because hindi sila ma-put ma, ma, ma into allegation na, oh, overpriced kayo. So pag bumaba ba yung SRP, bumaba ba din yung price nila. And Tapos, of SRP, protect their interest. Teka, yes. attorney now, speaking nga po of SRP, gaya ng tinukoy ni Sen Kiko noon, maling basehan yon ng PSDBM for bulk procurement. Kasi nga, um, I think, retail uh, price. Chairman, anyway, that's not my main question po dito, no, uh, attorney. Uh, SRP is one of the basis, in fact, GPP issued a resolution on that, that uh, as part of our um, basis in monitoring the prices uh, of our, um, when we procure, we base it on the DOH, uh, previous procurements, the DTI, um, SRP, and uh, preliminary market scanning. So these are the three so, outcourts that Mr. we Chairman, use. So, Mr. Chairman, with the permission of Senator Antiveros, yes. yes. just yes. for the record, uh, no less than Secretary Duque has already manifested when we mm -hmm. asked him about the basis for purchasing uh, these uh, masks that the SRP is purely retail not wholesale for the record they were buying millions that's not retail no matter how you look at it Ma'am, I can, can we request mr mr, mr. 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 lao are you are you are you smirking mm. no, are you no, smirking no. mr lao yeah, um, i'm i'm smiling mr chairman so what, what's you, funny it's just what's funny happened. why is um, it funny yeah if, if i find it humorous mr chairman because it is not humorous when you overprice, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lao. Yeah, it is not humorous when people are dying because of substandard materials, particularly... People are dying, that's why we procured it for them. Yeah, you, you procured it substandard for them. 
And then there are half a billion. How do you explain, Mr. Lau? How do you explain half a billion pesos worth of testing kits expired under your watch? It's not funny. This is not funny, Mr. Lau. This is not funny. For the record. And and uh, I'm done. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Madam uh, Senator Honferos. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, San Kiko. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, Attorney Lau, um, yes. so just to continue uh, walking through what might have been a typical decision-making process nung, nung panahon ninyo, no? Uh, so, sabihin natin na impressed kayo sa sample ng N88 mask na naka-attach sa sulat, professional na professional lang dating sa inyo, mukhang well-connected naman sa China, kaya sige na nga, nasubukan lang, bigyan na lang natin ng 8 billion pesos na kontrata. Ganun ba yung sequence of events dyan? No, that is inaccurate and misleading, Mr. Chairman. No. The letter yes. that they said is a letter of intent. Mm -hmm. The offer is 900,000 pieces of face masks on hand. Mm -hmm. Previous to that, we were able to buy only since March 9 until March 16, only 50,000 pieces of face masks in order to supply the entire workforce of the Philippine government. That is the first time and the second time that we got the same almost offer is from Pharma Lee, 900,000 face masks on hand. So imagine, is is very, very hard for us to look for the surgical face mask kasi wala nga. May isa nag offer si New Life, I think only 50,000. The second one is formally and the third one is Phil Pharma of 100,000. These are very scant offers of the total demand that we need to supply. We need to remember during this time, there is a clamor from the Senate and there's a clamor from Congress and in fact, there is a clamor from the medical field that they will stop reporting going to the hospitals if they will not be provided with this important face mask and, and other PPA items. The burden you know, is the you're getting of ahead of the story. You're getting ahead of the story, po. Yes. Bago umabot sa point of desperation ng ating healthcare workers to request government for a time out, meron ding hindi kla in response to that clamor, merong ding track record at offer yung mga Pilipinong manufacturing company, not just of face masks, also of PPEs and other COVID products to provide yung kailangan ng gobyerno. But in the meantime, ito nga si Pharma Lee. On the record, Mr. Okay. Chairman, there was no offer by local manufacturers during that time because they were not yet existing. Attorney Lau, this is the second time na uh, nag, uh, uh, in effect, nag argue tayo sa puntong ito. This first happened last year. But I stand by yung uh, sinabi sa ating lahat ng CONWEB, ng Confederation of Philippine Manufacturers of PPEs. They had the capacity and they had the offers. Now, let's just talk about formally. Kasi sila yung eventually pinrocura ninyo. They didn't have 900,000 pieces of masks on hand at that time. So, hindi ba misrepresentation yun? Uh, Madam Chairman, kaya nga, I asked them to show proof on March 24 when they sent a letter of intent. Show proof because they're the ones who is the only ones who are claiming they have it on hand. And they and show sir, proof on March 25. What was that proof, Attorney Lau? They, they, they brought the items to the office. <laughs> Attorney Lau, hindi ba kayo aware at that time na yung family was undercapitalized and in fact, kinailangan pa nila ng tulong ni Mr. Yang just to make good on that contract of theirs with PSDBM? But Mr. Chairman, one, I will, I am not, I am not in privy to that their personal transactions. Second, it is not my mandate in my office to check those things it has already been answered several times in these previous hearings that those are not part of the requirements and only requirements i mean is the oss the mayor's permit and the itr and it's it's we're buying it under bayanihan one those are not required by law and mr chairman i see them are delivered the hand. items are delivered ah uh, yes uh yes uh, excuse me uh, uh Lisa, I, I hate to interrupt, but this, uh, Mr. Lau, 
you know, and I, I, in the previous hearings, I confronted you with the law which says you have to look at the financial capacity of the supplier. You admitted that you did not look at the articles of the corporation. So, and uh, the, uh, the uh, requirement that you check on the financial capacity of the supplier is found in the law. I suggest that we leave it at that, uh, Mr. Antivero, Senator Antivero, because this, uh, the, the, we keep on going around this because Lau is, thinks he's very smart and keeps on denying uh, things uh, which he has already mentioned. So we we submit, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, the chair agrees with this, Mr. President, uh, the Senator and the floor leader, and uh, I would like to caution uh, uh, Mr. Lau, do not raise your voice against a lady, especially as a I apologize, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, I'm, 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 it's, 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 it's no. my biological... I don't give any questions. There is no explanation for that kind of conduct. I apologize, Mr. Chairman. I really apologize. You're out of line. I apologize, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.